just thought about something. How am I sleep with this? Welcome to La Vida Rosa. I'm your host, Pinky. Make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, and follow me on social media. So without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, y'all, my hair is freshly washed, as it is in most of my videos. I am gonna be trying wave formers. Or I think they're still curl formers, but just they form waves, these ones do. Honestly, these are the off-brand version. I got these from eBay. I will leave all the information about the length and the size down below, because I didn't even know you had to choose the size this child. I'll leave y'all what I chose down below. Um they were they were pretty affordable and i got five of them i got five packs so they couldn't have been too expensive if i bought five of them and they have 12 in each pack they have six yellow six blue and they are the same size so it doesn't matter like which order i go in um so I have 12 and I have five packs. So that means I have 60 of them. Hopefully that will be enough because I mean, I'm just going to be out of luck. I ordered these. So I'm going to have to make these stretch. Um, and I feel like I'm going to have to do smaller sections than what I thought I was going to have to do. For some reason, I thought these would be wider. I did watch one video, but y'all know I, I, I like to wing it because I like for my videos to be as authentic as possible. I want to show y'all how easy or how hard things actually are because I feel like a lot of people just be putting on. But on my videos, I want y'all to see like the real real. So what I'm going to do is start in the back as usual. And if I look over that way, that's because I have a mirror over there. So I'm just going to put about this much hair in each one. See how that works. I'm going to start off with the main choice, anti-breakage and repair antidote. Cuticle control leave-in lotion. That's a long title. And I'm going to put that on first so my hair can be moisturized. And I tried to choose something that was a little bit light but still moisturizing for my hair. And next I'm going to use the Rich Pure Luxury Argon Curl Enhancing Cream. Which is also light even though it's a cream. It's light and it has a lot of slip and I feel like for something like this where you have to pull your hair through, I think my hair will need that slip. First things first, I'm going to take the wave former, push it through, pretty simple. And then I'm going to hook my hair to this little needle, well this huge needle. I'm going to start at the root. And then I'm going to pull my hair through and voila. I feel like I want to get a little bit closer to the root. So I'm going to do this one more time. It was really simple to pull my hair through though. One time I tried doing this with smaller curl formers and my hair just would not slip through. So I'm glad it worked on this. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to hold it closer to the root so it can, you know, get pulled all the way through. My hair does come out a little bit at the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see, just a tiny bit. So I might pull it down a little bit, a little taste. So, okay, that worked. And here's what it looked like. So, yeah, basically, I'm just going to continue doing that over and over and over hopefully this doesn't take all night <sighs> all right should i do one side yellow and one side blue i might just do that I, that's a little extra but i think i'll do it one thing i wanted to make sure that i showed is that you need to make sure that all of your hair is inside of the hook of the needle pretty securely before you just push up the waveformer willy-nilly because then this will happen. Your hair will get stuck and you won't be able to pull it through. And, you know, you'll be looking crazy like I'm looking. <laughs> so make sure all of your hair is securely in the center or this will happen. This happened to me a few times. Hold on. 
Oh Lord. Y'all, this is not long enough. I don't know what to do. Cause I know that the ends need to be in there, but then the roots are like wet. So I feel like it's gonna be puffy. Is that gonna be a bad thing? I wish I would've got them a little bit longer. I underestimated the length of my hair. My hair grows faster like around here than it does in the top. So hopefully because it's in the back, it won't affect it as much. We'll see if this is a fail or not, y'all. We'll see. If so, it's just my fault because I didn't order a long enough one trying to be cheap. Alright y'all, so I'm finally done. I only ended up using 44 of these. I have a whole pack and four of these left. Um, which is great. So that means that I know I can part it in smaller sections next time. So yeah, I did do smaller sections toward the top. But I feel like I should have probably went a little bit smaller in the back. I'm not going back to fix it. Um, this took me around two hours to do. Which I thought maybe it would take me a little bit longer. So really it's not even that bad. I don't know how I'm going to sleep. That's the only thing that I'm like tripped out about. Like how am I going. How do you actually go to sleep. I mean it's not. They're not hard. So possibly. They're actually really flexible. So I feel like the gravity is like pulling on it. So I don't think it's going to be as puffy as I think it's going to be. I don't know how long this is going to dry. I'm going to try overnight. I hope it turns out good tomorrow. Of course, I'm going to show you the results. So I'll see you then. So I'm just wearing like this old slip and I like pinned it up as like a huge bonnet. I don't know why I didn't think of this in the first place. This is normally what I do when I have like braids or another protective style. All right, y'all, this was the next morning, but I had an emergency. So I literally had like 20 minutes to do all of this and so i like to take my time doing things but i just didn't have the time so right here i'm just showing y'all me taking them down and um they literally came out the same shape as the waveformer they dried extremely quickly if you ask me because i finished my hair at 12 o'clock in the morning and i had to wake up at 7 my hair never dries that quick so that's how i know it dries super duper quick um and the roots did not really present a problem for me in fact i feel like a more puffy root only helped this hairstyle and you'll see that later on so this is me just taking all of them down like i'm just like pulling them several at the same time at this point some of my ends were fuzzy and i feel like i could have pulled them down a little bit further to prevent some of that, but I was just scared of, you know, my roots. So at this point, I was a little confused because I liked what I was seeing, but I just did not know what to do with this shape. I mean, like it needs some sort of volume. So I started to break them apart. And, you know, I didn't want to break them apart too much, but just enough to give me something to work with. From this point, I already knew what I had to do. So I took my comb and I started picking out from the roots because that's pretty much what I do with all my hairstyles. 
if you don't already know, I love me some volume. So I just knew that's what this hairstyle needed. Um, and that's why the roots being puffy didn't really matter. Maybe in the very top, you want to make sure the roots are like straight. But I mean, having a like puffy root is perfect for this style, if you ask me. I mean, just look at it. It's just so bouncy and flowy. And I just love, love these waves. It's just totally different from my normal styles. And so here I am nine hours later and it still looks amazing. I feel like it looks even better because it's like broken in. Um, a little humidity hit it. And I feel like it gave it like that much more like life for me. Because I'm not the type of person that needs a whole lot of definition. To me, this almost looks like a very, very big braid out. Like if I use jumbo braids on my hair. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below. And I would love to hear your opinion. Have you tried these? Would you try these? I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.